Hey there, today I want to show you how to remove the glass shelf on a Samsung refrigerator with French doors. And this is the shelf that's inside the unit just above the vegetable and fruit drawers. In this case, our model number is RF28HMEDBSR, and I'll put that in the description. So it's best to go ahead and remove your drawers for this operation. And we checked our owner's manual and it doesn't even show you or talk about how to do this procedure. So when you start looking at this, you're gonna think, well, uh, there's these little clips and I'm showing you that clip here. Where you're gonna think, well, I could just get a screwdriver and pop that out. Don't do it. That's a mistake. You'll end up breaking the clips and they're quite expensive to replace. So again, you wanna remove the drawers from the unit, set those aside, and then there's two release clips that I'm showing you here in this video with the yellow arrows. And you're gonna to wanna to get like a screwdriver or something. I was unable to get these out just by depressing them with my finger. And I'm showing you in the video here both of those. And on our unit, for whatever reason, they're different on each side or different looking. And I don't know if that's because uh, a piece of the this side here that I'm showing you now is broken off or if that's just the way it's designed. But you're going to want to take a screwdriver or your fingers if you can do it and press in on both of those simultaneously and they'll release like it did just there. And then you'll want to raise the shelf unit itself up and out of the refrigerator. And I'm showing you here how, to, how you just raise it up after you've depressed those retaining clips. It's, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward once you, you, you figure out what you're doing, but you can just raise that up, pull that shelf unit out, and take it over to the side where you can actually work on the shelf. So here I'm showing you the glass shelf unit itself has actually been removed, and we're just showing you kind of what the undercarriage looks like here where those two retaining clips are at. So again, in looking at this, you're going to think, well, I can just get a screwdriver and pry out or pry you know, forward on those little retaining clips that are actually holding the glass in. And don't do that either because that's also a mistake. You'll break the clip, and again, they're quite expensive to replace. So here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to, and I'm showing you one here that I've already removed, but I flipped it back over to actually show you what it is that we were doing. And you want to take the entire unit and flip it upside down. And again, here I'm showing you the clip that we're about to show you how to actually remove in the video. So you'll want to flip the unit upside down. And it, it's a good idea to have a helper here because what you're going to want to do is take like I'm showing you here, two screwdrivers, and you're going to want to depress these little clips. And when you do that, that retaining clip is just going to fall out like it did here. This is one of the retaining clips. So once you've done that, you'll want to hang on to the glass and the plastic shelf unit and then flip that back over. And because of the way this thing is designed, you can then just raise up on the glass and pull that right out of the unit and then do your cleaning and simply replace it back in once you're done. So again, here are the two clips that have been removed. And in this uh, video, I'm just simply showing you how to reinstall the glass unit back in the plastic uh, shell. It, it just slides in on the front edge there that I'm showing you. And then it kind of drops into place on the back of the unit. Once you have it in place in the back of the unit, then it's time to get your two retaining clips and reinstall those, which is what I'm showing you here. And they, they simply just snap back in. Just like that, it's just that easy. And then you snap the other one in and you're essentially good to go after you've got your, you know, your unit cleaned and ready to put it back in uh, the refrigerator. Again, I wasn't able to find anything in my owner's manual about this and we had a spill uh, that 
actually spilled out on the glass shelf and it leaked under the frame of the shelf and got underneath the the edges of the glass and we were unable to clean it. So that's why we even uh, pursued this to begin with. So when you have it all uh, reassembled yeah, and the clips we'll replaced, you just want to take it back over to the refrigerator and you'll kind of have to hold it at an angle like, like I'm showing you here to get it back in. And you want to be careful here. Right, doing right. you know, gradually work it back in. Uh, like don't this, try to force right? it because it, it mm -hmm. will fit back in the, the fridge where it needs to go. And then once you have it in place, you'll kind of feel that it's seated in the back. And then you'll be able to press down on the shelf unit in the front okay. and it should snap back into place just like that. Well, maybe not, but after a second attempt, it, it did lock into place. And then once you have it locked in place, uh, you want to just reinstall your drawers on the left and right side, and you're basically good to go. Here are the drawers. I've got them just setting out on the shelf after we cleaned them as well. And we're getting ready to put those back in. And here I'm just putting them back in the refrigerator. So I hope this helps. Uh, I love doing videos like this. Be sure to check out our channel for other videos. But when I find things that aren't like blatantly obvious in the owner's manual that I, I know there's got to be a way to do. I love making videos like this, so be sure and uh, check out our channel. Thanks.